Hi friends, my name is Alyssa. I like to sip on wine and play Sims, so let's begin. Today we are going to be drinking some of Lisa Vanderpump's Rosé. If you don't know who Lisa Vanderpump is, she owns several restaurants in LA and she's actually um, one of the producers of Vanderpump Rules. If you haven't watched that show, it's amazing. I completely binged the whole thing during quarantine and I saw that she has some rosé. Since this is linked with Lisa Vanderpump, it was $22, which is like the most I would ever spend on wine. I Too expensive, but I mean, hey, this is why we're here, trying out to see if it's worth it. And it is 13% alcohol. Well, sorry, Lisa, I broke your cork trying to open up your bottle. All right, first impressions. It smells dry. and strawberry kind of. <gasps> oh, you know what? This probably isn't Lisa. This is probably Pandora, her daughter. Cause I think Pandora is the one that does all of her. Well, I don't know. This just says Vanderpump, diamonds and rose. This is either Lisa or Pandora. My bad. Did I even binge the show? <laughs> First, I'm like, oh, it's dry, but then I'm like, well, only so, like, kind of dry. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, I don't know if it's $22. Good. It's definitely a dry rose with a little hint of like not sweet strawberries. <laughs> Anyway, cheers and let's get started. Okay, so we are back with our tired girl, Jessie. My prediction was correct for our last bottle of wine. I got drunk and I had a really bad hangover later that day into the evening. So to be honest, while I was editing episode two, I was kind of reliving it for the first time because by the end of the episode, your girl was gone. So. <laughs> Um, but anyway, as you guys know, it was the last day of summer. They did their last day of summer shenanigans. And now it is fall time. So I downloaded a bunch of fun fall pumpkin activities for these girls to do from the gallery. So we will definitely be visiting those. Come on, Jesse. It's 6 a.m. <laughs> Kira's like, so how was your night with Nilani? And Jesse's like, it was great. We, um, hung out in a lighthouse and then I passed out. All right, Jesse, go to sleep. I know you are exhausted. You? Look, Kira has a picture of her and Grant on her nightstand. Oh, how cute. We'll put in a little frame. Okay, so like, I know I like Grant. Does Kira like Grant? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure what we're gonna do about that situation. So when Jesse wakes up, they'll go and do some fun folly things. Cause that's what you do as soon as summer's over, you try and transition into the next season. So these girls are gonna be about pumpkin spice everything, pumpkins, hay rides, scarecrows. We can decorate their apartment. Yee! Good morning. So go ahead, take a shower, eat some mac and cheese, and then we'll go do some fall activities. All right, so first we're gonna start off the day with going to a pumpkin cafe. We gotta get in our pumpkin spiced lattes and get that pumpkin flavor within us. So we are going to be traveling to Harvest Pumpkin Cafe. This was on the gallery by Eleandra YT. The Y and the T are capital. Look how, oh, I would love to come here. If you're not feeling into in the, uh, festive fall spirit, this is where you should go. This poor clerk can't even get behind the counter before everyone just attacks her with their orders. That's yours, hurry, go get it. Go get it, Jesse. they called your name. Aw, so fun. All right, let's go somewhere where it's not raining. Next on our to-do list is we're gonna go and pick out a pumpkin at the pumpkin patch. All right, so the super cute pumpkin patch 
was obviously found out in the gallery and it was made by Kaylee Star with two R's. Well, there are so many pumpkins for them to choose from. Also, has anyone ever actually been to a real pumpkin patch? Like where they were still connected to the vines? Cause I just went to one last year and it blew my mind that you had to like cut the pumpkin off of the vine. I've never done that before. I just went to one where they were already cut and just were sitting on boxes and I just chose my favorite one. I would highly recommend going to a real pumpkin patch if it, one is open near you this year. Anyway, so that's what these girlies looks like they're doing. And there's places where you can carve your pumpkins. Cute. All right, girlies, go here. Start looking for your pumpkins. Jessie would definitely be one to be like, take a picture of me in this pumpkin patch. She's so cute. Look at her, look at her posing. Oh, she is so She's like, we're gonna go ahead and carve a pumpkin. She's gonna do a classic jack-o'-lantern. And then I think Jessie will do kind of a crazy looking one. She'll do like a pale orange one. They also need to go shopping for a bunch of new fall clothes. So we'll definitely do that today too. They just spend one day just going ham on fall. <laughs> Pumpkin spice lattes, check. Pumpkin patch and pumpkin carving, check. Next, well, one of my favorite hobbies ever is to go to different breweries and I did just recently put in a brewery into their city. So maybe, maybe they'll go home, they'll drop off their pumpkins and then they'll go to the brewery and have pumpkin beer. Perfect. <laughs> So we are going to be traveling to Tap House Brewery. It just came into the city. And uh, this was made by Amanda Ar Arda, I think is how you say it. It's Amanda and then A-U-E-D-A, -E all lowercase. All right, so we just got here and I have a notification that says, Rara, it's Bears Night. Sims will be willing to get a little beastly tonight and enjoy discounted drinks. I'm not sure what that means. We're in for a treat here at this brewery. Oh my gosh. Okay, first impressions. First of all, how did, what? What? Wait, they have real beers on here. Someone made some custom content in English. Oh my gosh, they got Bud Light and Coors. Oh my gosh, this, oh my gosh. Wow, can I add this into my inventory? Hello, I like Doctor? your jewelry. There's a bear. Baby Ponka. So he gets a discount because he dressed up like a bear. We should have went to the store early. Maybe it's in like Halloween spirit. Like it's it's like bear night. Like every night's a different animal or something. I don't know. Oh my gosh, look at that platter. Mm. That looks so good. Oh, she's tense, unbearable. No Sims like being around deadly animals. This despair seems more annoying than threatening. <laughs> They're like, Blaze, you're so annoying. <laughs> He's the dude at the bar that he thinks you're BFFs now. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, we are home. We had a fantastic fall day. I was just informed that our power is shut off because we didn't pay it in time. And now that I'm thinking back on my drunken stupor, I remember right before Jesse went into the lighthouse, it said pay your bills on time. And it's been two days and rats. I mean, they have, they have enough money, right? Like it's not too expensive, right? Oh crap. They're gonna wake up and not have any power. <laughs> uh, pay bills, five hundred dollars. 
I mean, that's a great deal for living in the city, but like, oh. Excuse me. Hey neighbor, I'm bored. Wanna hang out a bit? This is Zach, the one that dresses up like maids. We don't like Zach. She's like, um, I'm busy eating applesauce in the bathroom. Can you leave me alone? Dude, what? Rude introduction. First of all, why did you come into my house? Just because Grant does doesn't mean you can't. We don't like you, Zachary. Enough. Go away, Zachary. We don't like you. Go away. <laughs> Thank goodness. She's like, go away, Zachary. You smell. Why would he come into our house uninvited? Does he think he's Grant or something? Zachary! Why is he still in our house? Zachary, go away! He had a pee. Bye! <laughs> okay. Wow, Jessie missed a whole bunch of stuff while she was at work today. We have an enemy. Isn't that fun news to come home to? Hey, welcome home. Remember how we just moved here a couple uh, weeks ago? I made enemies with our next door neighbor. <laughs> oh. I got excited because Jessie got promoted. But look who came in deciding to use our toilets. Are you homeless? We're fighting him. We're fighting him. Why are you using our stuff? Get him, Kira. Go use my Oh gosh. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yeah. Oh, he beat her up. And they now despise each other. Zachary. You need to get a life and stop coming Not into you. my house. Hey, neighbor, I'm bored. We're calling the police. Are you joking? Where's Where do you call the police? Hire a service. We're calling the cops. And he's sleeping in our bed? What a creep. Are you joking? Uh, we're going to call the fire department? How do you get Zachary arrested? We were trying to have a great fall day. Send it home. Go home, Zachary. Are you joking? Why is that not an option? Oh, 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 he's gone. He's gone. I should really get going. Thanks for hanging out. Maybe he's like a psychopath and thinks they're friends. I feel really bad for Kira right now, so if you like go to a spa or something, Jesse's like, Kira, my treat. Let's go to the spa. I am so sorry that we have a psychopath neighbor who beat you up and slept in your bed. I think we should move. I think we should move. We're gonna spend all our money at the spa and then we're gonna move because that's what smart people do. All right, we are going to Eclipse Spa to try and zen out. Zachary has caused so much tension in our lives that we are moving out of that apartment complex. Eclipse Spa, this was made by CJP132. Thank you for giving us a zen moment. Oh, let's give you a nice, take a nice bath with soaks. We're gonna do some milk, honey, and oatmeal soak. Oh, look how cute Kira is. You deserve it, girl. All right, we're gonna go shopping for some fall clothes. And then we're going to cut our lease and try and move somewhere else. Look how cute she is. Oh, yay! So cute, Jessie. And then we'll also give her, they went out and got matching leaf earrings. She's so cute. Yay! Shopping is complete. Both girls are looking so cute in their new fall getup. So now we are going to see if we can afford another apartment. So we can afford the deposit. We just can't afford a furnished apartment, but that's okay because we have our own furniture. 
Um, the only thing with this, it's a party place, which is great, but it's a quake zone, which means we might experience earthquakes, but you know what? Anything is better than Zachary. So we are going to cut our leash short and move into a new apartment. Congrats girls. We're away from Zachary. Okay. Here is their new apartment. Um, I am going to do a quick, wow, this is big. I'm gonna do a quick uh, furnishing of all of this real fast. Okay, so I just finished decorating their new apartment. It is um, pretty bare. Uh, however, it's a lot bigger than their one last time. So I'm actually extremely excited about how big it is. They've got a gorgeous balcony. I mean, look at this view. I think getting in a fight with Zachary maybe was the best thing that ever happened to us because it looks amazing. So good for you guys. And they could afford it. And like they have a little bit less money than they did before. But I mean, nothing that Jessie can't make up. She just got a promotion. <laughs> Let's have a housewarming party. Maybe people will bring us gifts so we don't have to buy stuff. They're going to have a house party. Yay! So both of them are hosting. And they will be not inviting Zachary. Yay! Oh, she's in like a party party outfit. Oh gosh. No, no. Change your outfit. We don't, we don't need. We're not going out out, girl. Oh gosh. Oh, hi. Hi, Grant. You're here. So we have some goals here that we have to achieve as people are coming over. So we need to tell jokes. Oh, Delani's here. Look at her full outfit. Okay, have Sims play games at the same time. Socialize, tell jokes, and eat food. Come on, everyone, come eat. Look at our friends, how fun. Like, did this used to be a giant bathroom? Who chose this tie over the kitchen? I like a little group of friends here. We got Lyle, Becca, Nalani, and Grant. What a great new beginning. Okay, we need to tell a joke. Our party's almost over. House party unsuccessful. Good night in your new beds. Look at that view. What a great fresh start. This is, I think, an even fresher start than they had before. All right, friends, so this is where I am going to leave off. I know it was kind of more of a chill episode three of Sips and Sims, but I think that's definitely something that they needed after their sicko weekend in the city for the first time. Um, a lot of different things happened this episode as well. I cannot believe that we had to move to a different apartment complex, but you know what, everything happens for a reason, and I think that this is a wonderful place to start over in the city. Thank you so much for watching episode three of Sips and Sims. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, have a great day, everyone.